Attention, of course, is on the officer's condition. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live mm -hmm. at UC Davis Medical Center where the injured officer, we believe, is still in ICU. Jennifer? That's what we've learned today. It's unclear just how badly that officer was injured, but we are told that he is in the ICU and that someone intentionally backed over him. Since we've been here since around 2.30 today, several law enforcement vehicles, motorcycles, cars have been out here all in support for this officer who was hit on Interstate 80. Many of them have gathered around outside UC Davis Medical Center, all waiting like the rest of us to hear the officer's condition. He, now, we had a press conference earlier today. He could not elaborate on the extent of the injuries, but said the officer w was behind the suspect when he was essentially backed over. In, in that press conference this afternoon, they were able to give brief details. We know that he works in Northern SAC, and we are told he was an excellent officer. It's one of those things where we go out and we do our job. We do our job to protect the public. And, and again, if it was a situation where it was a disabled motorist on, you know, on the side of the road and we're just trying to help out and something like this happens, um, you know, it, it is very unfortunate. But the uh, community has been wonderful in this situation. And uh, you know, um, please just keep the officer and his family in, in, in prayers and uh, you know, hope for a speedy recovery. Just a tragic situation out here. Many people are still gathering around and just waiting to hear the updated condition. And of course, as we get those details, we will let you know. And Jennifer, hopefully you can answer this. So just to clarify, uh, is it believed the suspect was actually pulled over by the CHP officer and then he backed into him? Yeah, it's unclear right now. They're not saying whether this was a traffic stop or whether this was just a motorist on the side of the road. They are saying, though, that Whoever was driving that car allegedly backed over the officer who was behind him, and that's all they've told us as far as the invest investigation goes. All right. Well, our thoughts and prayers are with him. Jennifer McGraw, live for us this afternoon. Jennifer, thank you.